Daniel 7 verse 10. I want to explain what some of you will receive so you understand what's coming on you. Well, while I'm talking, some people will begin to receive it already. Look at this. It says, A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. It means a lake of fire, you know, like liquid fire. So when you hear Lawrence or you're singing a song about a bowl of fire, drinking fire, this is where the revelation is coming from. It says, a thousand thousands ministered to him, ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The court was seated and the books were open. Now hear me. I saw God putting, I saw something that looked like fire. And I saw an angel of the Lord putting it in people's bodies putting it into people you know naturally that is impossible and I asked the Lord why is this happening and the Lord said I'm putting in them my energy so that they can run on a new level the Bible says he gives power to the weary and to them that are without might he increases his strength you see I don't have time to show you from that scripture but you see the mystery of that scripture is the reason why angels are purified many of you don't know let's leave that do you know that I see God has a technology by which he purifies angels Many of you think angels are without sin. They don't have a fault. It's not true. I don't have time to show you from Bible. In Job, the Bible says he charges his angels with fully. And you know, he's such a holy God that you have to be holy to stand in his presence. So God has a, a system, a technology by which angels, regardless of their shortcomings, can stand before God and minister to him. If you want to know about it, come, come for a class. I will show you. That's why the Bible says he makes his angels spirit and his ministers flames. So this flame comes from God. It is God's energy. Fire is God's energy in the spirit. And God wants to put it on some of us. Some of you have been running your Christian race on, in the flesh. I'm not saying you are evil. I'm not saying you are bad. I'm just saying you are using the energy of the flesh. You are getting used to mechanical motions and activity. And spirituality is not about activity. That's why a lot of us pray, but we don't hear God. And, you know, when the prophetic breaks out, you will see how easy it is to hear God. But I want to pray that God will cause this grace to rest upon us. Please lift your hands. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want no more. Is he tired? Fill my cup, fill it, Lord, and make me whole. Just lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. All across this hall and even to those who have been patient enough to follow till this time. That fire that you showed me, that you are putting into people, your energy, your power that you are putting in them, that will make us strong enough to run, that will equip us to run with greater strength, with greater capacity. Father, let that fire of your presence rest upon people. Rest upon people now all across this place man or woman boy or girl male or female take that grace take that grace take that grace take that grace take that fire take that fire take that fire now let it burn in your vessel from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet let it be a grace that comes upon you and shift you to another dimension you will run with the strength of angels you will run by the speed of the spirit it will no longer be by might or by power 
but by his spirit, by his spirit, by his spirit, by his spirit. From today, you will begin to pray on another level. Yes. From today, strength has come to you. Your priesthood has been reignited. It has been equipped. You begin to do natural things supernaturally. And then you will do the supernatural naturally. I'm praying again. Let that grace rest upon you. Whether you are in ministry. Whatever you do for God and his kingdom. Begin to operate on that tangent. Begin to operate by that grace. I see it like fire rushing on people. Rushing on people. You will take that fire to your church. You will take it to your music group. You will take it to your ministry. To your prayer group. To your fellowship. To your family. From today, take that grace now. Take that fire now. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want no more. Here's my cup, fill it, Lord, and lead me on. I see about 21 people here that the spirit of prophecy is resting on you now. 21 of you, seven of you are music ministers. The spirit of David, the very spirit of prophecy is about to rest upon you. It's about to come upon you that God will use your lips to open the eyes of men. He will use your lips to decode the destinies of men. He will use your lips to bring direction, to speak forth his purposes, to sing forth the sounds of revival to usher in the sounds of heaven wherever the 21 of you are all across this hall or following online let that grace mantle you right now let that grace mantle you right now let that prophetic auction that prophetic grace mantle you your life will never be the same by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost take that grace now take that grace take that grace Take that grace. Become a mighty man, a mighty woman of the spirit. Please, can you lift your hands everywhere? Just bring it down a little. Now, I'm seeing an angel. This is, you have seen this angel before, sir. You have seen it work with me. Let me tell you something. Listen to me before I pray. The reason why I teach the word of God and in your opinion, you enjoy when I teach the word of God in your opinion because I don't enjoy myself yet. I'm not there yet. But in your opinion, let me tell you the truth. I don't study too much. Oh. Not like before. I still do, but not, there's no time. There's no time. There's an angel that works with me. He carries a, a long scroll. All I need to do is stand in front of you. One of the reasons why you see me worship before I start teaching is, that's what activates his ministry. Once he opens that scroll, Anything he's reading is what I'm speaking. That's how it works. So from anywhere in the Bible, I bring out a scripture, it just flows. This is a grace. It's not something you do by st studying is good, but it's just a grace. Now I'm seeing that angel. I saw him fold the scroll and I see him hitting people. 
And God said, as he hits people, the spirit of revelation will rest on them. Just lift your hands. Close your eyes everywhere. Father, let that help, help them. Let that spirit of revelation fall on people. Listen, nobody, you don't need to be a preacher. Oh. No, you don't need to be a preacher. Don't deceive yourself. You don't, don't exclude yourself from a grace. Even if you're an instrumentalist, it's grace that makes men. It's not skill. It's grace that makes men. Lift your hands. Father, I pray, let that angel move through the left and the right of this hall. And let that spirit of revelation rest on people. Let that spirit of revelation rest on them. 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 Rest on them right now. Rest on them. Rest on them. Rest on them. The spirit of revelation. Your eyes will be open from today. You will find utterance to communicate the language of the spirit. Utterance to communicate what you sense in the spirit. Utterance to communicate the sound of the spirit. Utterance to give voice to the word of God. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. It's coming on you now. And it shifts you to another level. It shifts you to another level. It's still coming on people. Just close your eyes and lift your hands. It's still coming on people. I see the angel. It's still hitting people. Just soft now. I see him hitting people with that scroll. It's coming on people. The spirit of revelation. You need it for anything that God has called you to do. You don't have to be a preacher. It manifests for me because I'm a preacher. You need it in your life. The spirit to both see, to hear, and at the same time to communicate what you see. Until God gives you utterance, you can't communicate the things that you see. Please lift your hands. I still see it coming on people. Wherever you are, let it rest upon you. 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 This is an impartation that will change your life. The spirit of revelation. Hey, ta na 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 na